Welcome to STB exam forum. We have come up with another video on let's solve PYQ and in this particular video we are going to cover arithmetic section. Okay student this video will be two part and in today's part we will solve 10 question and in the next session we will cover another 10 questions. Okay so let's uh, begin this session and your time starts now this is the first question. student this question is very tricky one okay it can eat a lot of question time okay it can eat a lot of time so be aware with that question student so student if you see all these number one similarity in all these number is that all these are prime numbers and prime number are very difficult to identify right so out of these four option as you know only option b is the prime number okay so option b is the right answer okay so those students who have given this answer in time they are very smart well and good uh, your preparation is very well okay let's see the next question and your time starts now it is a long question it can uh, take uh, very much time so we need to do with the some quick trick okay so the trick for this question is draw a venn diagram so i will tell you what inside the question first let me make a venn diagram okay so in a bus six person can speak tamil okay so this represent tamil this represent hindi and this represent gujarat okay so six person tamil and 15 person hindi and six person can speak gujarati so total how much it is 27 okay but uh, out of these 27 person uh, some po people can also speak other language okay so the statement says one person can speak all three language okay so let me make this as one so, okay one can speak all these three language okay this is common area so it can speak all three languages in other group uh, what it's saying if two person in group can speak two languages okay so let uh, take this group so this is common okay so this this is another thing okay so these two person can speak two different languages similarly with this this uh, one person can speak hindi and gujarati this one person can speak hindi and tamil this one person can speak tamil and gujarati and this uh, one person can speak all the languages okay so how many common are there one two three four so if we subtract 27 minus 4 your answer is 23 okay so 23 is the right answer okay coming to the next question and your time starts now this is question from the average but it can be solved with allegation trick as well okay and time's up so let's read the question the average salary of all worker in a workshop is 8000 okay it is 8000 so whenever you see some partition you can use the allegation method so we will uh, solve with allegation method okay so the average of seven technician is 12000 okay so this is 12k of seven um, technician and the rest uh have average salary of 6000 okay 6000 okay so this is the remaining one okay so just uh, use the allegation trick 12 minus 8 is 4 8 minus 6 is 2 so ratio will be 1 2 okay so ratio between these technicians is 2 is to 1 okay but the question says what says if we take 12,000 uh, salary technician divided by total number minus these seven technician what we will get 2 is to 1 okay just solve this equation and what you get you get x is equal to 21 okay so 21 is the correct answer x is the total number of technicians okay so 21 is the right answer okay so option b is the right answer okay you can do uh, with other method also but this is the simplest one okay 
let's see the next question it is from the ratio and your time uh, already got started so times up so let's see, uh, see the question two numbers are in ratio 3 is to 5 okay 3 is to 5 if 9 is subtracted from each other the new number under in ratio 12 is to 23 okay so what is the difference uh, between them as you can see the difference is not common but the question says uh, nine number is each uh, subtracted from each number so it should be common so let's make the difference common how should we make the difference common the difference is 2 so multiplied by 2 it become 24 it become 46 and here the difference is 11 so it become 33 and it became 55 okay now you can see the difference between 33 and 24 is 9 and the question says it is uh, the difference is 9 okay but here it is already 9 so there is a factor multiplication of 1 and the question says what is the smaller number so out of these two as you can say 33 is a smaller number so if you multiply it by 1 your answer is 33 okay this is a quick trip and the option C is the right answer okay so 33 is the right answer quickly coming to the next question this is from the compound interest okay a very good question in fact but it can take your time in calculation so let's try to solve it so there's four percent uh, interest so four percent mean what four percent mean four by hundred that is one upon 25 so if you have 25 rupees it will become 26 in one year for next year it will become 25 26 it uh, is for two years so we have to move only for two years so now multiply this this becomes 625 and this becomes 676 okay 676 the difference if this is a principal this is amount then difference will be compound interest and the difference is 51 so 51 is a ci when when this is the this is the principal right so let's uh, make it so uh, the principal says it is 53000 so instead of 625 uh, it is 53000 so what is the factor its factor is 3000 okay similarly uh, what will be the compound interest compound interest will be 51 into 3000 okay so how much compound interest will be paid uh, if you calculate uh, over this you will get option number a as the right answer it will be in uh, decimal so 4324.8 will be the correct answer okay understood okay L let's see the next question your time starts now it is from speed and distance times up student this question if you see if you read a is twice as fast as b okay so twice means it it, it is talking about speed so this is a this is b a is twice as fast as b okay and b is thrice as fast as c so b is thrice as fast as c okay so uh, let's make the combined uh, ratio it become 3 3 to just 6 okay 6 is to 3 is to what 1 okay so since it is a speed and distance is common so as you know speed is equal to distance upon time and distance is fixed so speed is inversely proportional to time so this is speed so time will be inversely 1 by 6 1 by 3 1 by 1 so uh, let's uh, resolve this reciprocation and you will get as you know you need note to how how to this uh, resolve this okay S 3 is to 6 is to 18 okay so as you know uh, if you take uh, the total okay so because the journey is covered by C in 42 minutes so 18 is 42 so how much factor is there 42 divided by 18 
you need to tell a a is what 3 okay so 3 3 when you 3 3 6 you 18 6 when you 6 6 7 you 42 so 7 minute is the right answer okay i am doing quickly okay you can have a look on the video okay so option a is the correct answer quickly coming to the next question let's solve it so what is the sum of two consecutive even number when the difference of the square is 84 okay so the first number that we are taking is 2x this is first consecutive number and i am taking the previous number because they are talking about difference okay so 2x minus 2 will be other consecutive number and the difference between them is 84 okay so you can use the formula a square minus b square so a minus b a minus b okay and the other one is a plus b okay 2x plus 2x minus 2 okay equal to 84 so if you solve it this go gone okay so 2 4 4x 4x into 2 8x and uh, 2 2 minus 4 okay and it become 84 so 8x is equal to 88 and x become 11 okay so uh, you need to find the sum of two consecutive numbers so consecutive number will be 11 plus uh, 11 into 2 22 right the other number will be 20 okay so if you take the sum what is the sum 42 so 42 is the right answer okay let's see the next question and your time starts now it is a very simple question and uh, the word is also simple okay this is a simple question and you need to find the different way in which this can be arranged so as you know the trick uh, these are different uh, letters so what what can be uh, the answer so there are seven positions six positions okay three three six position so here uh, all of these okay so there are six options okay so six option here it is five option here it is four option here it is three here it is two and here is one in other words it is factorial six and as you know factorial six is what 720 so option d is the right answer okay quickly coming to the next question again uh, this is a very good question uh, traffic light at one particular cross is changing after 40 second okay and in the next uh, crossing it changes after 32 second okay so they are asking when they changes together so whenever there is a change together you, you need to use the LCM so just take the LCM of 40 and 32 so if you want to take LCM this method is very simple you can take 40 and 32 just make a factors of it 20 16 okay then 2 5 the 10 to 4 the 8 so just multiply this you will get 160 okay so 160 is the correct answer quickly coming to the next question and your time starts now it is from the partnership let's solve the next question the question says a b c started a business with rupees 30000 out of total profit of 7200 a got this much c got this much find the capital invested by v okay student as you know the ratio of profit is equal to the ratio of investment right so let's find the ratio of profit so a b c these are three percent and the ratio between their profit is a got 1920 b we don't know c is 2880 2880 and total profit is 7200 so you can calculate uh, the profit uh, which b got how much will get 9020 plus 2880 that is 4800 minus 7200 is what 2400 okay so b profit will be 2400 okay 
just simplify this ratio and after simplifying ratio you will get 4 is to 5 is to 6 okay as you know total investment is 30 so what is this total 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 okay so this 15 is equal to 30,000 so what is the factor 15 2 okay 20k okay just multiply uh, this profit of B ratio of B with 20k how much you get 5 to get 10 10,000 okay so option D is the right answer okay okay let's move to the next uh, question so option D is the correct answer this is not 20 uh, this is 2k okay 15 2 ja 30 this is again 2k okay so 5 to the 10 10k will be the answer so 10,000 is the answer so student uh, that's it so we have other videos on let's solve PYQ uh, we are also starting uh, this series for SSE selection post so if you have filled this exam for SSE selection post you can check out this video okay so thank you student for watching we will come with the next video soon in the next part okay so that's it thank you and have a nice day